let me unravel my Emerald GameCube controller real quick. I hope that's all right with you. Like, like, no, no, no. I understand that that may come off as rude of me to not have my Emerald GameCube controller unraveled before starting the recording. Like, no, no, no. That one is my bad. And I completely could see a perspective. I could completely see a perspective where you're upset with me for not having my Emerald GameCube controller unraveled. But I hope you'll understand that this is just the one time that I did not have it unraveled. And I'm gonna need you to trust me on that. Um, what's good, gamers? It's your boy watching the green grass grow grass. Hold on. Didn't sound quite right. Um, what's good, game? Um, what? <clears throat> I'm rusty. It's been fucking weeks. Um, what's good, gamers? It's your boy. Watching the green grass, grow grass, green grass duck 309 here. And oh my goodness, oh my gosh, Imasu, it's Monday. It's actually Sunday, but by the time you see this, it'll probably be Monday. Welcome to Monty Monday. Hello. Hi. Are you waving back at me? Because I'm waving. You can't see me, but I'm waving. Hello. Hi. I missed a Monty Monday. Ay! And that's my bad. You know, sometimes... Like, I know, I, I give the people the option. I put timestamps. If you would like to hear me yap about nonsense, you have the option to. If you would like to skip to the toy fizzle, you have that option as well. So, you know, but I, I'm just not feeling it today. It's been 13 days since the last grass duck upload. Muy criminale. That's very criminal, I think. I don't know. But... It's just the usual stuff. It's nothing crazy. I'm fine. Just my my time management and my discipline, all that. It's just all shit. You know? It just just the, the main thing I'll touch on is when I'm going hard on... Like this happened with the Omnibus. If you go back to... It's actually kind of interesting. I said I wasn't going to yap, but here I am yapping. Um, if you go back to whenever the Omnibus came out, it came out beginning of May... There will be this one spot where there's just where the uploads are just four Monty Mondays in a row, I think. It's because, you know, if, if my time management and all that was good and in order, there's more than enough hours in a day to to do everything I would want to do, like, and more. Like, I could be doing way much, way much more. I can be doing way more. Um, I just like to cut myself some slack. I do have to get my shit together. But I went from doing nothing for years, just like doing substances for years. Nothing crazy. You know, just keeping it a little PG. We won't elaborate, but nothing crazy. I've talked about it in Duck Talk if you want specifics. Nothing crazy. But the point I'm trying to make is I did nothing for years, and now I'm doing as much as I can. And I'm sober as a brick. But, uh, you know, it's a big mix-up. And I got to give myself credit because doing not doing anything is better than doing nothing. And this is a really weird, I don't even like to call it a job, bro. It's just, it's a really weird thing to do. You know, I would always like last year, I would always second guess myself. It's just a weird thing to put yourself out there in the way I do. And I don't lack the confidence to do it. Like I'm not having like a, a mid-year crisis. I was going to say midlife crisis, but I'm 22. But I, I, I would always struggle with that shit. And the only reason I bring it up is just because when it's been two weeks or so since I've recorded something, like I fucked up the intro. Like how many times have I dropped the watching the green grass, grow grass, green grass duck 309? You know, it just becomes a little foreign to me. Foreign? Shin Mishi Hao Wan Jatashi Nida Haizu watching the green grass, grow grass, green grass duck 309 here. I did say foreign and I did say grass duck intro. We got that Giga Chinese on lock. You already know that. That's no surprise to no one, however. TLDR, I've just been mainly working on the Grief Gang finale. It's almost finished. I thought it was going to come out earlier than anticipated. My original date was Friday the... What was it? Friday the 22nd, I thought it would come out. But then I estimated Friday the 15th. And it easily could have came out the 15th, but... It's just a lot more editing than I thought it would be. Um, 
since it's just one one fucking game, you know. But it's almost, almost, almost done. I'm in the, I'm like halfway through the eighth inning, so there's just not much gameplay left, you know. Um, and I also don't want to make it sound like I'm working on that 16 hours per day, and so there's actually no time in my day to work on anything else. Like I said, I went from doing nothing to doing as much as I can. And the editing process is really fucking tedious for the main channel videos. Just because I fucked myself during the Addy era. And I've kind of formed unrealistic expectations with those videos. Where I'm just kind of seeking perfection, I guess. So, I'm, and so you know, it, it's just really draining to work on those. It gets very tedious and kind of boring very quickly. But the thing is, um, I used to half-ass a lot of shit. <clears throat> Just like in general throughout my whole life, whether it was something I had to clean for my parents or whatever, or sometimes during the end of my videos, once we would hit like the eight, nine minute mark, this is referring to like super old Smash Bros videos that were only 10 to 15 minutes anyways. Once we got to the video, it would kind of start like, you know, I was just like speeding up like, all right, you get the point. Let me just finish it. Like you've seen enough edits. Ba I didn't even really edit anything back then. It was just splicing. But I would kind of just like, all right, I I'm over it. But um, but I'm still putting in the same amount of... But it's good. I'm like, I either do shit or I don't do shit now, which, which is better than half-assing shit, I guess. You know, I'd rather just not fucking work on it than work on it half ass you know like there are days with, with stuff like this um i try not to <clears throat> like there doesn't have to be an edit for everything there doesn't have to be a sound effect for everything the the main reason why i think these 990 videos worked was because um i think my my style of commentary and comedy complemented the gameplay well and i think that high paced splicing uh, editing with like the transitions and whatnot. I think it just all worked out really well and it was something that didn't need a lot of editing. So I try to keep it in my mind that not everything needs a fucking edit or a sound effect or a meme popping up on the screen. I've never been like that but as I'm doing more and more editing these days uh, I just want to be careful I guess that I don't know if the creativity isn't there maybe it will be there another day just so I'm not selling the project short, I guess. TLDR. I've been working on the Grief Gang finale. That's why there's been no uploads. I haven't been working too hard on it, though. But I have been working on that. And I just struggle uh, putting all my, all my priorities. I just struggle with maintaining a bunch of priorities. It's very easy for me to drift off. It's very easy for me to drift off and just focus on one project at one time. Also, I've decided that I'm going to start doing a monthly podcast just once a month at the end of month. <clears throat> so I decided I'm going to start doing a podcast at the end of every month, just once a month as a little recap, just because like who, who knows where we even started and where we were even going. I just take a riddle in sometimes and then here we go. Like off we go, you know, this is absolute nonsense. So I think it would be good once a month to to kind of check in uh, talk about stuff in regards to life in regards to the channel uploading all the channels all the ideas all that kind of stuff um, I think it'll provide good insight it's something I've considered doing just like a monthly recap but I think I'm just gonna call it a podcast just once a month and it'll potentially trim down the stuff that I mentioned at the beginning of these Monty Mondays. Because for those of you who don't know, this is the only thing I record week to week. Everything else, like I have probably 10, 15 hours of bully footage that's been recorded who knows when, just throughout the months, that there's no reason to talk about time sensitive stuff in. Because by the time it comes up, especially when my uploads are shitting the bed like this, you know, by the time those come out, it doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Who cares about me fucking smashing my head on my car two months later? You know, maybe you do care, but you would have cared more the day I did it, right? So, anyways, 
Last week was 9-11. Um, no disrespect at all. I'm fucking saluting right now. No disrespect to anyone affected by that and whatnot. You know, it's a, it's a sensitive topic, right? Not to me. I didn't lose anyone in that, but I know people did. But I'm not going to say it's comedy. I was going to say comedy is comedy. But like Monty on Twin Towers for Monty Memorial Moonball Morat, like in a never forget next to it, like it's a decent meme, you know? Like, obviously, I can say that because I wasn't affected by this day. But it's a decent meme. I think it covered... I think it was a good combination of, like, insensitive, but also comedy. Like, I don't think it was too bad to the point where, you know, the people are going to be outside my house with pitchforks. But we we were definitely pushing it a little. Like, listen, you should be thanking me. You definitely shouldn't be thanking me. But there was one, I asked for like, I asked for people to chef up a Monty Memorial Moonball Morat 9-11 special thumbnail. There was one with Monty in the cockpit with a pilot's hat on and the Twin Towers out his windshield. Like, I would have loved to use that one. But that one was just pushing it. This one I thought was just perfect. It was pushing it, but like, oh no, dude. Someone put Monty on the Twin Towers. Oh no. My career is over. Get me off the internet. I'm a disgrace to the internet. Get me off. Hold on. I'm going to start packing my bags up right now. It's over. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. But that one time that I put... I didn't even even do it. Varaxian in the Discord did it. Shout out to Varaxian. But I made the executive decision that was like, yeah, no, this is the thumbnail I want. But that one time I put my I put Monty on the Twin Towers as my thumbnail. That that's my legacy. That's it. That's a wrap. It's over for me. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna yap at the beginning of this. As he proceeds to yap about everything and anything. So the comment section's a mess. I see three swings with 69 likes. Next week's words should be Monty Memorial Mora. I said Memorial was gonna be a one-off word. And so he just suggested that on the video that it's already in the title of. And he also has one with 43 likes. Monty will always fight with American brothers against the enemy. Next week's word should be Monty Mujahideen Molrat. Like, I don't even know what that means. And that kind of has me fucked up. And you know what? I was going to pick this other one that was at the top with 32 likes. It was Veraxi. And he had America. But you know what? I was just scrolling, and I just won't tolerate this. My boy, Arrow5707. You know what? This actually has me fucked up. You know, one thing one thing I can appreciate, this dude's not even trolling, but there are people who, like, do troll, and they always comment the most troll shit ever. But the one thing that kind of makes me admire the trolling is when there's consistency and persistence behind it. Like I said, this one's not even troll, but I just admire the consistency. This dude said day number 30 of trying to get that moist mole rat in the title to reach his true form. We also salute all fallen first responders we lost that day. 100%. Salute the soldiers. Big ups to the soldiers. Okay, so we add moist. Okay, moist. So if you don't know, fuck. So if you don't know what Monty Monday is, oh boy, are you in for a treat? Assuming I don't just start talking about nonsense for 15 minutes. We run up a toy field. And then we run up a mini game on a quest to flood absolutely every single spot of every single mini game on. Nah, I fucked it. On our quest to flood every single spot of every single leaderboard with Monty Moonball Morat. And we also alternate between GameCube Sluggers and Wii Sluggers every single week. And it's a GameCube Sluggers type of week. And we add an M word to the title every single week. And it's so unbelievably far gone that it cuts off and carries over the description. I feel like I just said the word week a lot. Okay, week. I mean, okay, hi. Without further ado, welcome to Monty Moon. Nope, nope, nope. No memorial. Memorial's not in the title anymore. Just removed it. Just took it out. Don't know why you're trying to spit memorial like that.
Welcome to Monty Mumba More at Matra Master Money Mal Malnur Millionaire Major Boom Monaco Magnificent Methanomy Middles Marketable Mantra Montgomery Mozart Manacondra Majestic Must Team Mischievous Moist Mysterious Muted Mahogany Mispronunciation Monetization Merchant Mayonnaise Margaret Maximum Misdemeanor Malware Mummified Midnight Motivated Marmaduke Madness Mirror Mirror Mongoli Metation Mediterranean Mitigate Monday Mayhem. <sighs> Not bad. Some of the pronunciations I kind of like slurred my words. Like, the pronunciations might not have been spot on, but it wasn't like I stuttered over my words. I just didn't say them great. So TLDR, we count that. And we take those, and that's a first fucking try, and let's get it. Oh, shit! Right field's open! Oh, my God! Right field so open! Yup! Yup! Third base? Yes, trip? No shot he fucking snagged that dude. No shot. What the fuck, bro? Dude's got jets attached to his little baby orphan shoes or what? Dude was out in left field. Nope, that's some bullshit. Okay, I did get there for that. I was gonna say, if I don't get there for that, something's fucking. something's fucked. What's that? What is that? Why? Why? <laughs> I sounded so sad. I was genuinely concerned. Drop! Oh! It's fucked, dude. How could I have ever forgotten about the goat Gerber Linguini? The fucking goat, dude, hello? We get that though. Barely. Alright, so we should try to. Right field's open, bro. I was feeling left though, because of Bouncer. I was feeling left. Okay, hitting coins, so troll. We're just getting dropped off. I was hesitant to record this. I'll go into detail a little later when it actually matters. I'm going to somehow try to focus up and clutch this one out. It's looking a little doomed, though. I got 45 whole schmeckles to my name, which goes without saying has me fucked up. Can we catch that? Thank you. Oh, that's bread for catching that. Why was that bread? Good. Good. Drop it! Oh, shit! Home run? <laughs> Would have been lucrative, bro. Still decent. It would have been fucking juicy if we got the bobble home run. That's me, that's me, that has to be you. No. Oh my god, did. Mmm. Mmm. Why are we bobbling shit? I have to strike her out. That's the only way I bat. I have to. Oh, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Ah, she's gonna hit everything, bro. Fortunately, they call me Monty. Ah, oh, they call me Monty fucking Walker. I'm walking her. I can't. Outside gas? That wasn't even that gaseous. You have to get here for this. No shot you get here for this. Oh, it's fucked. Oh, it's fucked. It's winnable. What happens if I just hit her? <laughs> what would happen, bro? Do I win that? I have to get a strikeout. This is the lowest toy field scores ever. Come on, paint the fucking corner, Monty. Paint it. Paint it. Paint it! Oh, no! 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 I threw it. I threw it. It was a doomed run. It was doomed. Uh, it's fine. Low key, like, I, I wouldn't have minded taking the dub, but it kind of would have had me fucked up taking a dub on Toy Field with, like, 190 schmeckles. That's chump change. I can't be taking my dubs like that, you know? Okay, so off to the leaderboards. So I was trying to get the initial toppage for each minigame before we start the flooding. So we had, we started the flooding on Wii Sluggers quite a bit of time ago, a couple Monty Monday Wii Slugger editions ago. Cause you know, they're like bi-weekly, so it doesn't quite like a couple 
a couple wee Monty Mondays ago is like it could be two months ago, you know, just because we alternate. But I had all of these for a while before Wee Sluggers. But dude, this is a pain in the fucking ass. It's all the mini games back to back to whatever times six all in a row. Um, you get a placement, you get like an overall score, a combined score for how you do on each mini game. And then it also factors in your individual performance on each mini game. And these are all hard as fuck. Some of them harder than others. A lot of them RNG. Like, I'm not even just coping. A lot of them are giga RNG. Um, so coming in first on most of them in a row, I think I got five firsts in one second. It, it took a lot of runs. Basically where I'm getting at. We've been trying to get just one first place on this for mad long. And I was kind of hesitant about recording this today because I was like, I don't know what I want to play. <sighs> like, I don't want to grind Piranha Panic. I don't want to grind Bobomb Derby. It's really long. Same with Wall Ball. And then these two, Stardash and the Chain, Chain Chomp one, they're kind of RNG. But then I was thinking, I was like, dude, low key. So Piranha Panic, I think is easily the hardest game mode in this because the CPUs are just cracked and you have to move and do so many things so fast. Match the colored egg, throw to the right piranha plant, uh, duck, fucking, it's too much going on, way too much going on. The only time I can do good on it is when I'm at the peak of a stimulant consumption. And then I thought barrel batter, bar 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 bar. I thought barrel batter was also very hard, but I've just been playing this shit for so many weeks, weeks on weeks on weeks, where I low key have tech now. In the minigame Grand Prix, how they do it for some of these mini games, like uh, you're, you're basically going against someone at all times, right? In some of these, when you play individually, you'll go against CPUs still. But Barrel Batter, for example, you're just by yourself. So in the Grand Prix, it gives you three turns with three, or three turns with like five balls or something. And I've been doing pretty decent at it. And so, Loki, I want to try that. The minigame Grand Prix gets me fucked up because it's just a lot of waiting for CPUs to go, which is so annoying. But I think we could absolutely smurf this today. I've just got new forbidden tech that I can't even reveal. It's called I Just Got My Head Out of My Ass, and I just learned how to play, you know? Yeah, like this is so nice just not having to wait for a CPU. That one's hard. Now that one's hard. Now I low key don't think I hit that one. Close. Middle. Corner middle is probably the hardest they can give us. I've gotten pretty good at hitting everything else, but middle corner is tough. Because I don't think you can aim that with a stick. I think that's straight timing. Okay, middle, middle's decent, but I fucked it. So what I'm doing is you can aim with the analog stick. It's fucking inverted for who knows what reason. So like you can aim up on the analog stick, you hit the ball down naturally. Like up is down, like of course. But then timing your uh, swing plays more of a factor. Like I was saying that before. Cause like no shit, but it's kind of OP. So we'll go down, close, 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 close. You also get five barrels if you get a money barrel, I think. So like, it's not bad. Yeah, see that was our spot. We did that all swing, no aiming, just timing. What we got? See like that, that's also tricky. Horrible. Okay, I'm washed. I'm washed. I can only do it when the stakes are high in the Grand Prix, I guess. I'm going to bang it out here, though, and I'm going to need you to trust me on that. Are you trusting me or are you not trusting me? Here it is. That, they're all tricky. They're all tricky. Let's be real. Yup. Okay, you get three barrels, actually. Like, 3K is not even bad, bro. I almost got that in... I guess you get 15 swings in this. Okay. That's just timing. <sighs> Shanked it. Shanked it. 
That was that was a good yellow. Put one in the middle, dude. I got that middle timing unlocked. Oh! Little brown barrel. Got that middle unlock. That's tricky. Oh! Told you I got middle unlock. <laughs> I wasn't joking. But I remember the grind for this. It's been a really long time. I was stoked when I got this as well. New ranking. We got to beat 3,000 for everyone, no? Yeah. So, the flooding. I didn't really explain it. We've gotten the first place and everything, but we need every single spot. I guess I explained that. I say every single spot and every single leaderboard and every single minigame with Monty Moomba Morat. I say it different every week. We need a script. But then again, I'm not a very script-friendly person. Even the stuff that I do write scripts for, it's more so just so I know what to say, where kind of thing, rather than speaking word for word. Because it just feels wrong. Like, it's not that deep to script out word for word. Especially at the beginning of a Monty Monday. Like, segments in a video I could get. Yup. Okay, we're kind of fucked, though. This has been pretty shite. That's lucrative, though. Really lucrative. Could turn it around right here. That's not bad. Ah, oh, you really fucked that, Monty. You really fucked me in the ass there, Monty. Don't make me bust out the Alaskan pipeline. It's fucked. I know I can get at least one. It's, it's just been a minute. Those are good barrels. That's right off the rip. <laughs> Come on, you suck fucking dicks, bro. I hit, that's how it always goes though. I hit wherever, in this case middle, I'll hit middle every time until they put the money barrel middle. Then I can't hit it. And then I'll hit it like right after or something. That's how it goes. What we got? That's tricky. Good shit. I actually timed that beautifully. That was all skill, no luck there. I was hoping those blues would connect. That one's tricky. Close. Still good. We got 10 barrel mulducks. Kind of some shite barrels right now. There's that middle. What we got? Top. Nice. Nice. -o. Okay. Okay. My barrels are kind of ass. That's tricky. Yes, dude. Fuck yes. That's one. That's actually one just like that. I've gotten so fucking good at this. Not even in like a like a massive ego barrel batter. Like I don't got massive barrel batter ego, you know? It's just that I've played it so many fucking times. I was bound to figure it out at one point, right? Like, dude, I just smoked my score. Four money barrels is unreal. I remember it was a miracle if I could even hit one back in the day. I was... I remember my, my first Piranha Panic dub. Um, this one. And then also the, the barrel batter on the Wii Sluggers. Because that one's completely different to this. Low-key 20 times harder. I think that one's actually the hardest mini game out of both games. But yeah, I remember those three. Uh, my reaction was kind of funny because I was so stoked. Like th th those were ones where I was just like so unbelievably happy to get them. And I get all like, like squeaky and giddy. I'm like, yes. That's when you know, like that shit's no jokes. When my voice goes up 20 octaves and I get all giddy. That means we were grinding for that shit. I mean, we'll see what we can do. I'm not going to sit here for an hour and try to get all of them. Like, it's not that deep. I also don't want it to be an expectation, especially for some of these harder ones, where I did have to work for them, right? That I'm going to, like, let you know, we're playing barrel batter for this one. I'm not guaranteed to, to flood the barrel batter leaderboard all in this episode. Like, it's not like, yep, not turning the, the recording off until I get this. 
like, I don't know, dude. I'll hit some fucking barrels. Maybe I won't. Like, I'm smurfing. So, like, it's decent right now. But, like, if I sell it, it is what it is. I think I win this even without a money barrel. I kind of need one, though. Yikers! We'll see. We'll see. I, I'll be pissed if I sold this. No, I sold it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I sold it. I think I get this without the money barrel. <laughs> oh, I actually sold it. I was talking too much, bro. Oh, I sold it. But the consistency's there. You got to be happy about that. It's not, it just doesn't feel like luck anymore. Sometimes I fuck it up because it is tricky. And it is, they're kind of asking for the most with how this game works. Like, they're asking for the most. But I've gotten so much better at it for what it is. It's just, it'll always be the most. It's a really weird game mode. Mini game. Mini game, my bad. No. That's one of the easier ones. Oh, dude. Really good solo barrel. Like, it would have been such a shame to hit all those yellows that first try. Okay, corner. I don't like corner. Oh, I love the corner. Okay. I, this one's not throwable. I was going to, like, try not to jinx it, but no fucking way I don't get 100 points in 10 swings. All right. Word. Tricky. A lot of spots are tricky. It's just all timing. You gotta have that nice timing, you know? One more. Uno mas. I would have been pissed if I hit the brown barrel. Fucked it. But that's fine. The flooding is commencing as we are speaking. Okay. That was 12 off the the history making initial topage. Gotta hydrate up. I can't get fourth and fifth place without being hydrated. That's just impossible. Okay. Corner. Yup. Dude, it just feels so fucking good to know how to hit these. It just feels so good. I just feel like I'm in control and it's not fucking a shit RNG mini game. Feels good. What we got? Top. Dude, middles actually, they're all tricky. They are all tricky, but I do know how to hit all of them. I think I have two shit of barrels for this. No, I get one more. In a bad spot. Nope, that's my spot. That's my spot. I don't think I clutched that, though. Close. Close. I think I got pretty fucking close to that last time. Like, the one that I choked. I feel like it might have been exactly that. I remember seeing two and some sevens. Was it one seven? Was it a couple sevens? Who knows? <clears throat> they say seven's a lucky number though, right? So this is the run then? Is that how that works? Maybe, potentially. What we got? Top. There we go. There we go. I was about to say I was struggling with my middles. The middles are the middles with T's are a little tricky. Again. Fortunately, they call me Mr. Consistent Middle Hitter here and there. No one's ever called me that ever, but they better start calling me that. Okay, corn. Corn Madulk. Dude, I'm the fucking goat at this shit. 5K? 5K. 5K. Yup. 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 Dude, I'm fucking disgusting at this now. It's actually so bonks. 
What we got? Corner. Oh, I fucked it. Not that bonks. Kind of bonks, but not that bonks. Give me one more. I'm on a roll. Okay. These solo barrels are good, though. Those are worth a lot. Yes, one more. First ever five. Oh, I fucked it. I was going for the first ever five piece in a biscuit. The, the pieces in this case being the barrels, of course. Specifically the money barrels. Obviously, that goes without saying, but I said it anyways. <clears throat> All right, one more. It's unreal how long it took me to get one of these. And I'm just the minigame guru now. Like, surely I would get good at some of these after 40 weeks, right? Yup. Yup. I think that might be tricker than... Tricker? That might be trickier than corners. Because, like, it's early, but it's not... Like, so that left was late, right's early. It just depends what side you hit. So, like, that one's late, but it's not too late where you hit to the, the outskirts, you know? All right, I smurfed it. That's it. That's flooded. That's that's literally flooded, bro. That's unreal. It's also unreal that I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to record. Like, what would I play? And then I was like, barrel batter. That's what I want to play. If you would have gone back to when I was struggling with this and then told me you just came through a time machine where I said I was stoked to play this, I was disgusting at this, and I was going to get, like, four firsts in, like, half an hour, I'd be like, wow. Like, what have you been smoking? I'd like to try it. You know? As I casually just have 68 hunge. Oh, I just didn't aim that. I timed it, but I just didn't aim it. How could I have ever forgotten that I need to hold down to hit up? Like, no, that's on me. Shanked it. 7K? 7K would be a lot nicer. I got shit fucking barrels, and I sold that. That's, that's a wrap. I'll see you. The next time I see you on the barrel batting fields, we'll be in the Grand Prix. Because that's it. That shit's flooded. I smurfed that, bro. That shit's flooded. I've gotten the hang of it just like that. I'm glad it went this way because I figured. I figured I might be able to do it. Just because I've kind of learned how to aim it a lot better. So, you know. I didn't think it would be too difficult. Because that's the only thing you have to fucking do is know how to aim it. Nope, that's not it. <clears throat> I always go to shift with L and R. You just move across them. But yeah, we have not flooded anything on this quite yet. Except barrel batter. Boom. Flooded. Boom. Barrel guru. Boom. There's your Monty Monday. Okay, bye.